but I hope that they would l actually listen to the lyrics, you know, and let those lyrics be applied somehow to their life, you know, where they can um, begin to appreciate the small little things around them. When I heard the song, I was like, man, that's the song that I sound like I would have recorded. Mm -hmm. Well, the lyrics, I mean, all the lyrics were just pretty profound. I mean, you know, um, sometimes we look around us and we forget to see the joy around us. Um, we get so caught up inside ourselves, we forget to take the time to be thankful for the little things in life, you know, like waking up, you know, like having something to eat, um, seeing a friend, you know, um, seeing some child smile or whatever, you know, whatever those things are to you, you know, the songs you speak to. Every artist uh, evolves, you know, from when they start, you know, and uh, my starting the music business, you know, it's with dance music, you know, and that record was a pretty eclectic collection of dance pop record. This, for me, is a departure into a more mature sound uh, because, you know, I've been known as a rapper and not necessarily a singer. Uh, so this is just my evolution as an artist. So yeah, I teamed up with a friend of mine, um, Reggie Washington, Cars Monte Music, uh, in the Bay Area in California. And uh, he's been uh, producing the video, and um, it's been a complete joy because uh, we go back a lot of years. And uh, his vision, creative vision, is is unlike anything that I've seen. We were in the uh, Sacramento Crocker Museum shooting. We were uh, out on the landscape, lake, mountains. You know, just some really beautiful shots. Um, and there, we're going to infuse some. Um, local actors into the video to depict some scenes of gratitude, giving, helping, caring, um, to help depict that. I mean, what more can you be thankful for when you look out and you see God's creation? You know, from sunsets to sunrises to uh, a flock of geese flying over a lake, you know, uh, those things to me are just absolutely stunning, you know. Um, and we get caught up in the day-to-day -day hustle of going to work, you know, um, kids going to school, taking care of babies, you know, whatever it is that your grind is, if you just take a moment just to breathe and just look around, there's so much more to be thankful than complaining about the stuff that you um, have control over, you know, because of the choices that you've made, you know, <laughs> to um, be in your life. I'm um, shooting for a December date um, for release in Europe and um, you know, there's a, a big festival that goes on in the fall, you know, with Coca-Cola, and they usually select one song. I was hoping they'll take the song as a possible Christmas song for Coca-Cola. A song was written by David Foster and Diane Warren. Uh, actually, yeah, Diane Warren wrote a song for uh, me some years ago called Sweet Little Persuader on our second CD, A Moment of Love. And one of these days, I hope to meet them. You know, it's difficult during the holidays, you know, for anyone to be separated from their families, and especially, you know, military men and women who are deployed, um, fighting for our country. Um, that I am thankful for, you know, and, and having retired from the Air Force, I mean, I know what that grind is. Um, and I think a lot of Americans probably, majority of them do appreciate the work that we do, you know, and have done. Um, and I know that they're thankful that they can sleep peacefully at night, you know, while someone else is standing on that wall. You know, I kind of live my life through a series of um, quotes and sayings and verses from the Bible, you know, that I try to apply to my life. But one that comes to mind is um, a friend of mine, Lorna Newton, who used to always tag her show with this line, and that was, to live for today, reach for tomorrow, and learn from yesterday.